Hello friends, it's Jess here with Let's Jess. Thank you so much for watching and welcome to another daily vlog. I vlog every single day over here on my YouTube channel and I love having you here. Um, if you're new, we're in the process of moving from Indiana to Arkansas. Things are crazy and busy and chaotic, but we love bringing you along for all the things. So I'm sitting outside kind of freezing my butt off right now, but I'm just trying to soak in this beautiful area we have our new house is not going to have a nice of uh, backyard and like gazebo and all of this that we have here so I'm really trying to soak it in I just, just filmed a video for my patreon page um so if you that should already be up if you're a patreon person patron of uh, my patreon page definitely check it out I talked about like how I stockpile food and I don't do it in an extreme way it's a very like dip your toe in the water kind of way. It was just basically a way to save money. I talked to you guys about my best tips. So you can join Patreon, Patreon for as little as $3 a month. And I really appreciate all of you that are over there. We have a lot of fun. But anyway, we are getting going with our day. It's already like 11 o'clock. Um, we got the kids to school. Everybody slept good last night. Hallelujah. So that was awesome. Got the kids to school and we've just been kind of hanging out. I've been doing laundry. That's why I'm kind of talking to you guys out here because it's loud with the dryer and the washer going. Um, so I've been doing some laundry today. We have like several loads to get through. So I've been running that. Um, and it's a beautiful day out here. It's just a little bit chilly. So anyway, you guys come along with us today. I don't really know what the plan is. Um, nothing super major. Like I said, I'm going to do laundry. I need to do some editing. Um, I don't know. I, at one point, may go run to Kroger and get Nate's prescription supposed to be ready. So we may do that. Um, just kind of a, a lazy Thursday for us. Um, you know, David usually leaves on Saturday to go... Uh, to Arkansas. And so we try to like soak in the days that he's here, but it's also been kind of busy with house stuff and making phone calls and all of that. So anyway, I'm, I'm not looking forward <laughs> to being gone again, but we, we have a light at the end of the tunnel, y'all. We have about four weeks, about a month left or so. And so we can do this. We have a month left before we move. That, that is terrifying to me, like truly, uh, maybe, maybe like five weeks, I think. Um, so oh, the, the countdown is on and, um, it's nuts. It's nuts. Anyway, I will take you guys along with me today. So let's, let's get started with our day and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. You guys, so the kids are home. Lucy has two pepperonis, some veggie straws, some blueberries, and one little pepper left. Nate just did not eat his cheeses, and he ate everything else, so pretty good. All right, you guys, so the kids are home, and as soon as they got home from school, I laid on the bed, and I was just going to watch, like, an episode of um, uh, 48 Hours. No, it was 2020. It was one of those. And I like passed out for like a good 45 minutes and now I feel so groggy. But I just got the notification that Nate's prescription is finally ready. So I'm going to run to Kroger and get that. Um, I failed to mention at the beginning of this video that as I'm filming this today, it's my um, bestie Jen. It's her birthday. So yay. I hope she has a great day. I hate, you know, not being able to be with friends and family on their birthday and celebrate them. But she knows how much I love her, and I can't believe it's already her birthday. I feel like, how is it March 30th? I don't know. Like, I feel like this first part of the year, I know it's been kind of a crazy time for us, but it has really made time go by really fast. I mean, the fact of, like, summer will be here in a couple of months, it's just, it's crazy. So, anyway, I'm going to go get this prescription feel filled field. <laughs> and um, when I get back, it's already four o'clock. Once I get back, I need to probably start dinner before long. We're just having tacos. I have some taco, I have some ground beef. I'm going to um, just, you know, cook up, put some taco seasoning on it. I have some black beans. We'll see if Mark will eat it. He's not been eating the homemade kind. He only eats it at the dang restaurant, um, but we're going to try. And then um, I'll probably make Lucy some pasta so that she can have that for pasta Friday tomorrow and her lunch. 
So then we really are just gonna have a relaxing night. There's no plans. I was gonna go live tonight, but I've moved it till tomorrow. So um, after the last two nights of being live, it's really great to have like a break. I love being live, but it is, it's it's a lot. And it's been like me staying up later and stuff. I'm an old lady, y'all. I need, I need my sleep. So um, I'll go live tomorrow. And tonight I just have the night off. So once I get back, we'll make dinner and, all the things so so i am here at kroger and i was just going to go through the drive through because i don't really need anything at kroger but the drive through is so long and where our kroger is the drive through lane kind of got, cuts into like regular <laughs> traffic and so you can't really like line up i would just wait but there's nowhere for me to really wait until the line goes down so i guess i'm gonna go inside but i feel like this is a really bad sign because i could barely even find a parking place at our kroger like it is packed so i'm worried that the inside's gonna be a very long line but that's okay i'll go in and while i'm in there i will just check around to see if all my deals if anything new has popped up yeah sure i got that really good dollar 49 butter maybe they'll have something else new but man i hate i hate waiting in line at the pharmacy our pharmacy this kroger pharmacy is so slow <laughs> they usually only have like one person working and for whatever reason it moves like a snail's pace but i do appreciate um you know the workers and stuff it's not their fault it's just I don't know what it is. It's just slow. <laughs> so at least I don't have any kids with me while I wait. And now I'm just procrastinating going in by talking to you guys. But I just don't want to go in. I had a video playing. I was just going to sit in my car. But I'm going to suck it up, buttercup, and go in and get this medicine for Nate. All right, you guys. So I got the prescription just like I thought. I had to wait forever. But they were really nice. The lady was always like, they're always so impressed that I have my ID ready. Like, this isn't my first rodeo. We do this every month with Nate's Medicine. Thank you for having your ID ready. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, looked around just real quickly. There was nothing on Markdown, not anything major. So I didn't get anything. Does anyone, when you leave a store without buying something, do you get like this anxiety that people are going to think you're stealing? Or is that me? <laughs> I've never stole anything in my life. But if I walk out of a store without buying something, I just like, in my mind, I'm like, don't, you know, act natural. You didn't do anything. Just act natural. Does anyone else do that? <sighs> that tells you that I probably don't leave a store without buying anything that often. I always feel so weird just walking out without anything. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go home now. I'm proud of myself for not buying anything and just getting the prescription and leaving. Um, of course, now as I'm leaving, there was no line whatsoever. I was the very end of the line uh, in there and there's no one in the drive through And yet I still waited like 30 minutes. It's like everybody came at once. It's okay. All right, I'm going to go home. We're going to start dinner. Um, we have that international taste test box that I think we're going to do tonight. Um, I'll just put it at the end of this video. So if you've been missing our taste test... We got a box from Try. I'll have to tell you guys um, the exact website, and there's they even said a little um, discount code for you guys. So if you want to see us try some international snacks, stay tuned. I'm gonna try to sneak that into this video too. Right, you guys, so we're gonna open this bad boy. I got Lucy and Daddy here. Okay, does anybody know? It's from. It's wrapped so nicely. This is from Tri Treats, Taiwan. Mm. They have like facts about Taiwan, like a recipe. You know what Taiwan is, Lucy? Mm. I like it. You, you like it? Yeah. <laughs> it's on the coast of China. Okay, these are all the different treats. So there's a bunch, really. Okay, so um, think, grab one out and then I'll tell you what it is. Okay, that is Marin pie. It's a mini pie that has chestnut filling. Very soft from the outside and strong matcha flavor on the inside. Oh. Are you going to taste it? Take a little bite. Yeah. Oh, Lucy, have you seen these on TikTok? Uh-huh. Oh. Nice okay. And we're going to give it a scale of 1 to 10 rating. I don't even think you got the filling. I did. You got some of the filling? Mm -hmm. I don't think you did, Liz. I did. It's okay. She doesn't have to. Let me taste it. You don't like it? It's okay. 
Mm, I think it's good. Kinda, it's not super sweet. No. I kind of like it. I mm, wish it had a little bit of a, the aftertaste is kind of yeah, weird. Yeah, love that. I'm going to say five. Boy. What, we go one to ten? Mm-hmm. I'm comfortable at five. You're right. Okay, grab something else out. All right, you want a cookie? Okay, oh. that is... Hold on, let me see what it's look like on the outside. You twist off the top. Crispy, is that a crispy? That's why I did, yeah. No, this is the crispy. What is that? Does it have a label? No. A bucket of eggs, Which it's one? Like, it? like yeah. Mark, you gonna taste any of this? Yes. Mark, you wanna try this? I think it's the sashima. Yes. All right, I want to eat it. Okay, sashima is a traditional flour cake popular in East China, chewy in texture and sweet in taste. It looks like a Rice Krispie treat almost. It's like colored flour. All right, <laughs> taste it. And then hand it to Lucy. Hi, mommy. Hi. Well, she's being brave. <laughs> That's interesting. It's not as sweet as a. No, it's not yeah. as sweet. It's a very weird texture because Rice Krispie treats are like crunchy. Yeah, it's like very puffy. No. Yeah. I like it. You like it? Scale of one to ten. I'll stay the home on that. I like it. You like it? You want to taste it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna stay with five, but I do like it a little bit more than the other thing. Okay. okay. Let's try this. That is Paw Flakes. They're sweets made from the fruit of the hawthorn. It has antioxidants and positive health effects. All right, let me help her open this. All right, we got two open. All right, Liz. Paw fruit. Have you ever heard of Paw fruit? Okay. I'm scared. 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 I'm Oh, it's going to taste like a applesauce dried out or yeah, something. Yeah, for real. That's, that's very much what it tastes like. Like a dried apple. Uh, all right. That's only like a four. All right, what are we opening next? Two out of ten. The chips. These well, are, I'm going to say three. Two. Yeah. These are rose chips. They're potato chips in a unique rose color. Oh. Rose chips. I Oh, they're like curly. Hey, mommy. That's what they have with the package. Oh, hey, mommy. You want to try a rose chip? Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, well, I have chips. They taste like no. Skinny. Yeah. This is like veggie sauce. I don't like it, but yes. Are they supposed to taste like roses? Because they don't. No. They have a weird aftertaste, though. They do. Mm. It's like a veggie straw with a kind of a unique aftertaste. It's got, it's got rose salt in it. I don't know if I, do you like it? I don't like them okay. I'll go five. I'm going to say four. Okay, what's next? This. We already tried that. Okay, open that up. Open that. That is a hand tear bread. It's, li it's a light and sweet bread. You can't do it. And it can be tear by hand. This. So it's like a bread. Oh, wait, hold on. My battery's going dead. Nobody tastes anything. All right, here's the hand tear bread. Is it soft? Oh, It looks good. It works. Mmm. That's kind of like a croissant. I like that. But like a little sweeter. It's good. Well, there's a, there's a hint of... What is that? It's kind of like a soft bread for me. No, there's, there's a flavor in it. What's the flavor? It doesn't say. It just has a light, a light and sweet bread. You, you taste that, Lucy? It's almost like there's like a little flavor that comes in on top of the bread. It's almost like a cinnamon roll without the cinnamon sugar and stuff. It's just like the bread I'll part. Give it like a six. I like it. I like it. I'm, I'm gonna say seven too. All right, we got like three more. Okay, so save those for last. Why? I'm gonna open this. Okay, those are the crispy crepes, Ooh. and they have ginger flavor. It says. We bet you've never had anything like it. I'm scared of that. They broke. Uh oh. Scared of that. Lucy, you're being very brave. I want All right, ginger. What is ginger? Ginger crepes. It's like, have you ever had ginger ale? No. My texture's good. It's like a wafer. Oh, yeah, ginger strong. 
Yeah, the ginger at the end. Mm. Ooh. Wow. Oh, I don't like that. That's too strong. That, that, that's a two. Yeah, two. That's too strong. Two. Okay, these are... Um, oh, that's a bad aftertaste. Oh, that's really bad. Uh, a lightly grilled... Oh, oh it's even worse. Okay, hold on. Hold on. It's bad. Uh, by the way, as we're doing this, Nate's like, y'all can have your crazy stuff. I'm just going to have some yogurt. I'm going to have my Trader Joe's yogurt. Mommy, what's... All right, we had to have a water break after that one. This is lightly grilled sin sinbei rice crackers, which is rich in green flavor in the flavor, I bet flavor in the mouth. Salty taste brings out the flavor of kelp and bonito. Kelp. Nice. More like help. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's very fishy like us. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> that's another two. It's very fishy like seaweed. I don't like fishy flavor. Yeah, I'm going to say one. That's not very good. Oh, it's getting worse. Mm. Oh, it's getting worse. I'm kidding. Hopefully these cookies taste good. These are nutrition biscuits. They're scrumptious, nutritional, award-winning biscuits, which generations of Taiwanese grew up eating. This is a classic treat in Japan and Taiwan. Oh, it's like a graham cracker almost. Mm -hmm. These are these are good. Mikey, I bet Mikey would like this. It's like a graham cracker. No. If you eat it, you'd be a big boy, not a baby. <laughs> you a baby? It's okay. He doesn't have to. I like them. I like them too. That's, that's that's a that's a that's a solid six. Um, it's, it's a little thicker than a graham cracker, but to me it tastes very similar. Eight, 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 eight. Plus seven. All right, last but not least, these are soccer jellies. They're very popular in East Asia. They're not like the ones on TikTok. I think you're supposed to twist maybe the end. Yeah, I think so. That's scary. Which one do you want to try, the yellow or the green, or a little bit of both? Nate, turn that down, dude. Turn, turn it down, Nate. Okay, you go first, Liz. Mm -hmm. You want to try it? Yes. Okay, give it to Marky. It's a jelly. It's the yellow. It's really yellow. That's green, I think. What do y'all think? It comes in like a bunch of little beads. Wants to try it. Guys. Oh, I'm impressed, buddy. Try again? Wow. He's going to be a Taiwanese baby. Okay, I'm going to yeah. try it. Tastes, it feels weird when it gets in your mouth. I love it. But it doesn't taste bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's weird. It's definitely like a jello, like a liquidy jello. Yeah. Hey, how about that one? You want to try the yellow? Try, try yellow? Mark is going to be... <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Did you like it? Try the blue, try the yellow. All right, is that pineapple? Um, yeah, that's that, kind of... What's that, grape? 10 out of 10. Yeah, this, yeah, this is like grape, I think. Uh, okay. Yeah, that definitely has a pineapple taste to it. That is perfect. It's not bad. Just the, the texture feels the weird. The texture's weird, but it tastes good. Them. That's a, That's a seven. That's pretty good. 10, 10. So that is us trying our Taiwanese Taiwan, treat. Taiwan, thank you. Keep the rest of the How fun is it that our kids are big enough to want to try the cool treats with us? This is fun. So try treats. Mm -hmm. are giving you guys a 15% off discount of your first box. And I will have the link in the description box. And then the code is blush, blush Jess. Thank you so much to Try Treats for sending that. It was really fun. Did y'all like doing that? That was great. Even more can try. Good job, buddy. How do you get the one in the bottom? You squeeze it. Okay, I forgot to say, what is everybody's favorite? My, yours is that. I like the bread. <laughs> the bread or the like graham crackers. This would be good with a cup of coffee. Why is your least favorite? The kelp chips for me. Or that ginger thing. Oh, that ginger thing was so bad. The rose chips? Really? Hey you guys, I thought I'd show you my little Plexus haul for this month. I've been taking these supplements for over a year now. 
and I love them. This is what I mostly take. This is the Slim Hunger Control. I thought I would show you guys because you always see me on shorts taking these little pouches, this little pink drink, but you probably never have seen or haven't in a long time the, how they come. This is my favorite flavor, the Black Cherry Lime Blossom. There's also a citrus one I like too. I go back and forth on those. And then I also take ProBio5 and BioCleanse, and this together is what they call the Triplex. It helps so much with gut health. It's been a game changer. And then every time you order, you get points, and um, you can exchange those points for products. And I've tried a lot of different things having points. Um, usually like every other month or so I'm able to get something new. So to try for free, which is awesome. And so I've never tried the protein powder, but this is whey milk chocolate flavor, um, a meal replacement. So I will definitely let you guys know how I like this. It is 140 calories and 21 grams of protein. If you add milk, it goes up to 30 grams of protein. Depending on the type of milk, the calories may change, but I'm very excited to try that. It looks like something I would like. I love like chocolate protein product, and I've heard really good things about this one. So anyway, if you go over to my cabinet, don't mind the mess. This is what I call my Plexus cabinet, and I have extra pink drinks. Um, I really like this Metaburn. I've also tried block this actually they accidentally sent me and they let me keep it they sent me that instead of something else i was supposed to order edge helps with like mental clarity i have active in here which is like an energy drink and all of this stuff is just great ease this is what my mom takes to help with her inflammation because she has rheumatoid arthritis and this also actually helps a lot with my pelvic pain that i have um so this is my plexus corner. <laughs> this pink thing is not plexus. This is something I ordered off of Facebook like a while ago. It's called, it's by Opvi. It doesn't want to focus, but it's collagenic burn. It's supposed to give you energy. I find plexus gives me way more energy than this, but this is also collagen. So I'll take this sometimes. I'm trying to use it up. It's almost out. So anyway, that's my little stash plexus all right you guys so it is now the end of the night we just got the kids to bed i'm gonna go to bed pretty soon it's not even nine o'clock yet but i feel i just feel tired i'm super bummed because um this weekend we are dedicating our new church um it, the construction's not done but everybody from all the different campuses are coming to like pray over the church and dedicate it and i wanted to be there so bad it's like breaking my heart that I can't be there. Um, I want to be there for David. I want to be there just because it's a big moment, but we're going next weekend for Easter. And so going two weekends in a row with the kids and um, having to board the dog and, you know, it's such a quick, we wouldn't have long and it's, it would be like driving down on driving down one day for seven hours and driving back for seven hours, you know, it should be really hard. So Oh, I just feel really sad about that. But Dave was like, I'll FaceTime you. You can be there. But it's just so hard. It's hard because I want to be there so much. I want to be there on Sunday. I want to be there. They're doing like, they're going to be like cleaning out stuff and helping um, with some of the cleanup. I want to be there. And David's talking about um, setting some stuff up while he's there to kind of get some stuff done. And I just want to be there to help everybody. And it's hard to not be. But, you know... I know I'm doing the most important thing for my family, which is taking care of my kids and keeping them on a routine. And we will be there next weekend. So I'm excited about that. But I feel like it's an important thing that I'm having to miss. Um, I know all of you are going to say, well, why don't you get somebody to come watch your kids? But it's not that easy. A lot of our family is waiting until we move to come help us. They don't have unlimited days to come help. So we are trying to conserve them because we are going to need, we're going to need their help. Um, uh, we're going to need their help come moving day. Um, it's going to be kind of crazy. So my mom and dad are out of town this weekend. It's just, you know, one of those things. They are doing a separate uh, launch service where the, the campus finally launches and everything's completed and everything like that. And I'll be there for that. I will be there for that. <laughs> we should be moved in by then. So anyway, it's just one of those things. But today has been a pretty good day. I'm going to go read, I'm reading um, the second Good Girl's Guide to Murder. It's called like Good Girl, Bad Blood or something. And it's really good so far. I'm loving that series. 
and I only have a few more days before they're going to take it away. <laughs> I rented it or borrowed it from my Libby app. So that is probably the number one question I get on Instagram messages and Facebook messages and comments is what is that app that you use to read books? Libby. It's free through your library. If your library participates in it, you can check out books. And that's where I read almost all of my books. I mean, not all of them. Some of them I check out from the library. Some I get on Amazon. Um, but most of them I read on Libby because they're free. Sometimes you have to wait to get them. That's another thing I get asked. Like, why would you, if it's electronic, why would you have to wait and get on a waiting list when they just send it to you? But the library only has so many electronic copies. So you have to like wait in line to borrow them. But what's good about it is you never have to like wait. You know, you never have to go in to return them. You don't forget about them. You don't get fines. So I love it. So I'm going to try to finish. I think I have three more days to finish it. I'm over halfway. It's going pretty fast, so I'm sure I will. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you like the video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Definitely check out the Try Treats down below if you want to try some international snacks. That was really fun to do with the kids. It was a nice little activity um, after dinner to do. And I will see you guys later. Bye, everybody. As a young girl, the fields were mine We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows among 